Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in purchasing a massage gun but may not necessarily know what may be the best device for you or the best device for the price, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll answer that question by the end of this video. Now, before we jump in, today we're reviewing two devices side by side. One is the cell phone massage gun. The other is the Tibbon Amo 5 massage gun. I'll have the Amazon page for both pulled up in the background as I'm going through uh, basically opening the devices respectively. And I will actually have those links to the Amazon pages in the description as well. And there will also be a link to where I'm doing an unboxing of the Tibbin Amo 5 massage gun and a more detailed review of the cell phone massage gun. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we jump in, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now we will start with the cell phone massage gun first. So we have the Amazon page pulled up here. So we will focus in on this a little bit more. So this device is currently going for $59.99 and it is touting a 2,800 milliamp hour battery, which will give between six and eight hours of use. Now the carrying case will come in its own box, which will have the typical uh, like advertising info. So it'll have a pictures of the device, uh, but this is just the carrying case. So once you pull it out of the box, First thing you'll notice, it almost looks like there are some stress marks or kind of like wrinkles. So it's this cloth material covering what appears to be like a plastic or cardboard type of material underneath. Not quite sure what it is, but it definitely has the appearance of like, again, wrinkles in the cloth material. Not too big of a deal, but just worth noticing or worth noting. Now, when you are opening it, you'll have two zippers that will pull both directions. And we will go ahead and open this up. Now in the top, you'll notice you have this plastic packaging with the little air tubes to keep everything in place. And then you'll have this silk pouch that'll essentially, looks like it'll fit almost everything in here, if not everything. And then you have your user manual. Now it has a couple pages, covers proper use, care, what's included in the box, etc. And then we have the device itself. Overall, the packaging, I'm going to say this is definitely not as good as the Tibbin massage gun, primarily because these pieces don't really want to stay put. So if you take out this, um, this air packaging at the top, these seem like there's enough room for the smaller ones, at least that don't touch the top of the box to just kind of fall out and go, you know, basically knock around inside. And they have these little rubber grommets, but that does not really attach to the holes in here because the holes are a little bigger. So you have to push it down pretty forcefully to get these pieces to stay in place. Not a huge deal, but some of them I don't feel like when you push hard enough are going, they're not gonna stay in very well. But again, small complaint. Now the charger itself. So this is not using a USB type C charger. It's a standard AC adapter. So you'll see the specs right here on this and you'll see the charger right here. So this is not something in my opinion that's going to be difficult to replace, but it is hardwired in. So it's not gonna be the easiest to replace overall. So I would personally take off some points there because if you're someone who's either lost it, a pet chews it, something like that, replacing it may be a little bit more difficult. Now, there are the attachments here. I'll just pull each one out so you can kind of see what they look like. Each one has this little rubber seal at the bottom to help keep it essentially put in the, or keep it in the device. And it looks to be pretty much on par with a lot of the other attachments that the Tibbin massage gun has. So honestly, there's not really a big comparison there. They're both pretty much on par with having pretty solid number of attachments for most of what you may need. Now, device itself. I explained this in the review that I did when I got it. It looked like this piece right here had actually been used. There were a couple of minor scuffs on it. Not a huge deal. Um, only other thing to note, it's a little odd that there is a single power button here and then another power button here that's capacitive. So this is a physical button with a rubberized top. So you have to press this and then the capacitive button you just tap to cycle through the modes. On the highest setting, I'll put it near my mic just so you can kind of get an idea as to how loud it may be when compared to the other. It's pretty quiet overall, and I feel like when you push it pretty firmly against uh, really any body part like a leg, for example, it seems to hold up pretty well. It doesn't feel like the device is really strained too much, and it has a pretty solid and premium feel overall. So um, I haven't really felt like I've had any issues with this device. It hasn't really scratched um, at all or easily, I should say. 
Uh, it does have a little bit of a rattling noise and the capacitive button here. Sometimes it has a little bit of a give when you push with the plastic. I actually thought this was a physical button when I first start, got it because you can push it in a little bit, but it's not, it's just the plastic giving way. So again, minor thing to complain about, but for $59.99, very, very solid device overall. So we'll go ahead and shut this off and we'll walk through the tip and massage gun next. And then what we will do is we'll basically compare them side by side. So again, this is the Tibbin AMO 5 massage gun, much smaller case overall. And the case has a more premium feel to it. You can see it attracts dog hair pretty easily, but it has a very similar cloth feel with a plastic or cardboard lining or something along those lines. But much smaller. So if you compare the two side by side, you can see that this one is again, much smaller. So we have the same double zipper setup. And then before we open it, checking on price. So we will focus in here. So this one is $89.99. This one, uh, so it doesn't look like the Amazon page is completely set up just yet, but this one is essentially touting a battery that is 2,600 milliamp hours and is equipped according to their page to work up to 10 hours per charge. So there's one benefit to this for $30 more. Now, when you open it, we have everything in here that fits pretty well into place. So first you have the manual, which is more aesthetically pleasing covers the same content, definitely more visually appealing overall. So you have the informational packet and manual there, or user manual, I should say. Next up, one thing that I love about this device, USB type C, and it is the USB cord. The AC adapter is not included. Uh, so bonus and uh, kind of like a negative there, but again, most people have those little wall outlets or AC adapters. And the beauty of this is if you have a USB type C charger, you they're interchangeable. So if this one gets lost, dog chews it, whatever the case is, you can easily replace it without having to look up the manufacturer info like you would have to with a cell phone device. Let's look at the attachments next. They're in this little silk bag. So the bag does not look like it'll hold the gun itself. Whereas in the cell phone packaging it does look like the bag will hold everything. And we'll just pull out each of the Attachments, same rubber grommet looking setup here. So we'll just pull out each one just so you can kind of see what they look like. And we'll just kind of dump the rest in my hand. Now, most of these do have a little bit of a rubbery feel to them. The ones that look like this are just pretty hard plastic. Um, it's kind of hard to gauge a premium feel on something like this. Uh, but again, it's just a pretty traditional plastic ish feel to it. So that's everything in this little silk baggie. So we'll set this down and then we will pick up the massage gun itself. Now I will go ahead and tell you just for general feel and build quality, this gun looks much better, but that is also a personal opinion. Another thing to note, I was actually shipped this device for free by the manufacturer uh, or the seller, just to answer a quick questionnaire. So I'm trying to keep this review as unbiased as possible, but did want to go ahead and make note that I did not pay for this device. Uh, I did purchase the Silphum for personal use, use that one a little bit more, but again, I'll try to keep this video review transparent for you all. Now, again, you'll see that AMO5 massage gun branding. Uh, again, pretty premium feel. It has this rubberized feel to it. So it doesn't really seem like it's gonna scratch or pick up a lot of fingerprints very easily. And you have a little film on the back, which is nice as well. To operate it, there is one single power button that you would hold and it'll immediately start in setting one and you just click it and it'll up the settings. So we'll put it in the highest setting, which is five and we'll put it next to the microphone. This one has a very similar, kind of like a vibrating noise. And I don't mean like the motor, I mean, it almost feels like there's uh, a part that's, I'm not gonna say rattling around, but obviously the intent is for this to vibrate or work in a massaging action. So with the moving pieces, that's gonna be something you're gonna hear. So pretty similar to the Silphum gun there. Again, pretty premium feel overall. We'll go ahead and shut this one off. Now that we've done the basic unboxing, 
let's look at the two side by side. So again, this one is $89.99 on Amazon now. This one is $59.99. Comparison side by side, this one appears to have a slightly smaller profile. The handle is not as long as the cell phone device, but the top is a little bit thicker or larger. Very similar um, shape. Again, this one has two power buttons. This one only has one. Covering functionality, both turn on pretty much instantly when you hold or press the buttons. This one starts in the setting, the first setting. With this one, you have to click this almost like a safety and then click it again to start in that setting. Now, a couple of things to note. So this, from my understanding, is battery level, which it's a little bit more appealing on this device here. So we'll turn this off and try to focus in on this a little bit more just so you can kind of see what it looks like compared to this. Now, when using both, overall, I feel like with the cell phone device, I don't feel like it's struggling as much when I put pressure on a uh, limb or body part, essentially. So if I'm pushing this on my leg and essentially trying to use it, it doesn't really feel like the motor has any pressure on it. Whereas when I'm using the Tibbin M05 device, it feels like there's some pressure on the motor. I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. I'm not an engineer or anything myself. It's just something I want to make note of. Now, again, when using both devices, the cell phone device goes up to setting six. Now, this one, to be honest, I don't feel like the setting is incredibly high or aggressive. Whereas on the M05 device, it feels like around setting three or four, it's already moving faster and with a little bit more force than the cell phone device. So this caps at five, where I feel like it's moving faster than the cell phone device and it feels like it's pushing a little bit harder so there's more power. So I guess what I should say is the cell phone device essentially has more speeds overall, but the Tibbin M05 feels like it goes much faster in the top speed. So overall, the spectrum, I think that the AMO5 is going to cover a greater spectrum of speed slash strength um, for your potential needs. So something worth noting, button placement's also kind of nice. It's in a very usable place. Whereas with the cell phone device, you have to click up here and then click right here. So it's almost like it's two-handed operation. Um, so that's another thing to note. Again, clicking up here and clicking down here, just not as user friendly. And all of these design pieces right here, they look kind of like buttons, but they're not. So minor complaint, but just worth noting. So between the two overall, personal opinion, I would recommend the AMO5. And again, that's not because the company sent me one for answering a questionnaire. It's just because it feels like it's a little bit more compact and I like the rubberized texture and feel to it a little bit more. And the box, the case is a little smaller. The case has a more premium feel. And again, when you're using the settings, it has more settings that it covers. So higher speed on the top end with what feels like a little bit more intensity to it. Even if you don't need the highest speed, it's nice that it's there. Um, but again, the cell phone device is great for the price. So if price is what's important to you, I would still recommend this cell phone device. It's still an incredible device for $59.99, definitely worth taking a look at. But if you have the $89.99 to spend, I would highly recommend the Tibbin M05. I feel like you'll definitely get your money's worth there. Now, again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.